We are in Fort St. Jean-Baptiste in Natchitoches, Louisiana, and it's the site of the first permanent settlement in the land that will become part of the Louisiana Purchase. In 1722, Jusserel de Saint-Denis became commandant of the fort, and it was intended as a trading and military outpost to counter any Spanish incursions in the French territory. Soon it became a center of economic significance, particularly with neighboring Caddo tribes. The fort continued to serve as a military outpost and a commercial trade hub until about 1762, when France ceded Louisiana to Spain as a result of losing the French and Indian War. Under Spanish authority, the fort served as a trade center and a link in Spain's intercolonial network, but since its original purpose of protecting a territorial boundary no longer really applied, the Spanish eventually just abandoned the fort, and it was in such ruins by the time the U.S. acquired the area in the Louisiana Purchase that Americans could just no longer use it, so they built Fort Claiborne nearby. No one knows exactly where the fort stood, but a replica of Fort St. Jean-Baptiste is located on Cane River Lake, just a few hundred yards from where historians believe is the original fort site, and that's where we are now. The fort replication was based upon Ignace Francois Bruton's plans on extended archival research in Louisiana, Canada, and France. Construction began and building materials were obtained locally and many 18th century techniques were employed in the replication. Nearly 2,000 treated pine logs from the palisade and approximately 250,000 feet of treated lumber went into the construction of the buildings. All of the hinges and latches were handmade at a nearby foundry. Further research is still ongoing. Today, you can see living history reenactments of what fort life was like back then. For more information and other things to see in Louisiana's oldest settlement, be sure to follow us at Louisiana Dread.